the first stage was to take a decision what to do with that unit. And then, after we made a decision to repair it, taking into account all of the factors available for us at that time, the key challenge was to understand how to do this. Because as I said, no one actually knew what should be the sequence, what should be done when, and how much would it cost. Logically, there are four major stages of repair process. The first and initial one, which I have mentioned before, is the strengthening of the construction, of, and predominantly the building. We had very little idea what actually uh, was the, the actual damage and in order to make sure that the building itself remains intact, overall we've uh, installed more than 500 tons of different metal bracelets and constructions and beams and whatever. After that we've started the dismantling stage because in order to make sure that we put it back together we had to first rip it off in parts and dismantle, take it out of the building. We uh, also had not only to take out the damaged parts but also some undamaged in order to make sure that we can check them and in order to make sure that we can use them later. The third stage is that we're putting it back, we actually assemble it. The next stage after we're through this is commissioning, which later will allow us to officially submit the papers, will um, dedicate the moment when we resume receiving the payments for the capacity supply. By far and large, I'm proud with the people, with their attitude, how they embraced the challenge initially, how they actually fought the fire itself when they entered the unknown land as walking in the dark. Of course we did, of course we succeeded. Why? Because we're right in the end of the project and we have managed to uh, accomplish it without significant uh, errors, significant accidents, and uh, yes, of course we are successful.